Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Career mode hard, 10%, blah blah blah. Oh fuck, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Tech tree. Look at it. It sucks. All mods can be found in the description below. Right now we have plenty of money, but we don't have almost hardly any science. So we need to go out into the world and collect biome science. And then after that we're gonna go ahead and go make an orbit around Kerbin and collect science that way. So what I want to do actually is I want to make a flying vehicle somehow to be able to fly to different biomes. Not sure if this is gonna work. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. <laughs> I don't know about this. Man, the fact that we can only use 30 parts really puts a damper on things and I don't have enough money to actually buy a bigger better facility so we're a little stuck okay so what I did was that in the uh, Kerbal engineer redux it gives you a little piece for your career mode that you can add to your ship to give you extra readouts on top of the screen now we're, I, I would think that we're gonna need it because of the fact that I need to know when I'm over a certain biome without actually zooming out and changing everything and hitting alt f12 and all that jazz if there's another way to do it without it please leave it in the comments below but I don't think there is I'm hesitant to put another fuel tank on this bad boy because the heavier it gets the less and less that these wings actually do anything now I'm trying out this new mod called lazy painter it's supposed to be an addition to the turd mod or the textures unlimited whatever so i'm not too familiar with it and i don't see anywhere where it actually has something where i can copy the color from a previous part which kind of sucks to be honest nope that's not it fuck so yeah anybody who's ever used lazy painter let me know in the comments below if there's a way to actually go and select the colors that are already on the part and store them for future until then i'm just gonna have to do it this way okay the fact that i'm extremely hesitant about this design is an understatement i don't know really its flight characteristics without any control whatsoever the smaller one i understood it a little better because it was smaller therefore the reaction wheel had more power over it but in this case i am not liking this 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 feels bad now i gave him a little something something so if something bad happens we can just say fuck it and get the fuck out i mean there's no escape jets or anything like that we're just gonna have to hope that he's not going so fast that the it can't disconnect or the parachute because he can't eva there's no evaing when he's in when he's in a, a flight uh, unfortunately i haven't unlocked that yet so that's why i didn't give him a parachute because you know what good is it gonna do all right jebediah i am going to desperately not have you die on me okay sass on let's do this okay we're over the shores now this this is what this little computer down here gives you it just opens up all this up here so okay uh, in three, two, one. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. What are you doing? Oh shit. Okay, so we lost our landing gear. <laughs> we lost our landing gear. I'm, I'm going to get some altitude. We're about just a little less than one third power. I'm going to get some altitude. We've already burned through one third of our fuel. Oh man, are you fucking kidding me right now with this? Okay, we're flying. We're flying. But we're definitely not going to be landing in this motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to hit the parachute and we're going to try to land that way. But for the most part, we lost our landing gear. This is, of course, due to the fact that we have so little in in lift that, unfortunately, we had to get, we had to get up to speed. Um, more than... Uh, what I think I'm going to do next is, if this does, if this is somewhat of a success... We're going to fly uh, vertically first and not worry about trying to take off runway-wise. I think it's safe enough to try to land. I'm going to jettison this. Okay, here we go. Parachute. Well, easy now. Easy. Boink. Hopefully nothing bad happens. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. We're going to attempt to get some mountain data, but I'm actually really thinking that this... This piece right here might might not be might not we might not need it only because of the fact that it looks like we're going to be taking off and uh, landing vertically. So uh, who knows? We'll we'll see what happens. And three, two, one. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, this creates a lot of drag down there. 
we might have to abort. For the smaller craft that only had the little little uh, solid rocket booster motor, this was fine. But with this thing, it's not gonna be fine anymore. It doesn't seem like the mountains start until like way into there. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, what the, what, the, what, what the, f what the, f well, that didn't go according to plan. Okay, that that took a little longer than I expected. That was about three hours of gameplay, and we 
I even made a freaking list of upper atmosphere, grasslands, highlands, mountains, shores, EVA, crew report, uh, thermal, goo, all that jazz. Looks like we've covered everything that's within the, the vicinity of the Kerbal Space Center. So, with that being said, <laughs> wow, uh, I think I'm going to call it. Yeah, and I may, I'm, I'm going to try to make a couple more videos so they can, um, that way I'm not coming home from work and having to, you know, go all the way to 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night to make a video for the next day. But this one here, whoa, I don't know what we're going to use the science on, uh, but uh, we, may, we, we need to make sure that we do this properly because we only have so much science to go around. So we need to make sure we have something that helps us get more science. Okay, well, uh, that's it for today. Yep, still Highlands. I was, I was aiming for the Tundra, but there's a Tundra piece back here we could have <coughs> tried to get, but maybe when we get a little bit more technology. I could try to use some, I, I could try to use a bigger hopper with more fuel and just kind of skip across and land over there. It's just really hard to nail because it is, it is a small zone. So I was kind of hoping that this thing would make it. But anyway, all right, well, that's it for today. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, that's better. <laughs> And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. <sighs> and also that bell notification if it actually does anything at all. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, love you all. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. And I really like this. This is, this is kind of peaceful. If I add like a soundtrack to it, like a, yeah, let me add a soundtrack to it. Let me see how that feels. Holy shit, I wish I was there. Stress free. Yeah, that'd be nice.